is Recordology. A lot of people may think that buying a new record player is too expensive for them. When I first got into this, I didn't realize just how affordable this can be. Now, obviously, I'm in a thrift store here. This is a great place to start for the newbie because a lot of you may have heard that it's good to invest in vintage equipment. And while I completely support modern retro equipment, I do think that sometimes you can get a lot of bang for your buck by looking for vintage stuff. Case in point, $15 for this 90s era Iowa turntable, fully automatic and ready to go. Definitely a good investment. Here's a Crosley. It's ironically a little more expensive even though it's more entry level. I think it's about 30, 35, it's hard to see there. But anyway, that's a good unit as well if you want everything all in one without having to buy separate speakers, preamps, amps, all that stuff. Here's a component type Victrola unit. It's very basic, it's very lightweight, but again, you know, 16, 20 dollars, somewhere around that ballpark, you can get stuff like this. Now this particular day, I was not expecting to find all these turntables. This is an anomaly. Usually you don't find, you know, multiple turntables at the thrift store in one day. But if you go maybe one, once or twice a week, you'll probably find something within a couple of weeks. And again, the bargains can be, you know, easy to spot. And uh, I would really recommend it, not only for record players, but for DVD players. Those can be five, 10 bucks for good Blu-ray DVD players. Here's an alarm clock or other types of vintage and sometimes newer equipment TVs you name it this is really a good place to go and if here's a CD player it's like five bucks this is really cool I love portable CD players I almost bought this maybe I'll go back for that I do think it's really cool and if you have an issue with something like I did with that sharp cassette boom box you could take it back and get store credit so it's not a huge risk most of the stores will actually let you try stuff out in store so if you bring a record with you you could try it out I would definitely bring a used, you know, not your prized possession vinyl record, but you could try something out. Here's a tape deck. It's a basic one, but it's a cool vintage tape deck. It's like two or three bucks. So you can really put together a decent component system or stereo system with a very minimal investment. And actually my stack that I've built is primarily via stuff from a thrift store or from a garage sale. And there's so many, you know, odds and ends. There's a lot, there is, you know, the junk is in there. There's a lot of speakers and there's a fish tank and a printer. So you kind of have to sift through it. But look at these receivers. And a lot of this stuff, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, people just decided, eh, I'm not really interested in that anymore. And, you know, it's kind of like treasure hunting. You can go in here probably twice a week and see something completely different every single time. So very fun. And this is cool. This is an old Sanyo, very 80s looking stereo system component stereo system. Again, you can get started with retro equipment with a very minimal investment. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That's going to do it for today. Happy record hunting. We will see you tomorrow. Have an awesome day, guys. Thank you so much for watching.